Cooler temperatures can often present a challenge for local law enforcement looking for the men and women on their most wanted list because nobody wants to spend their days and nights outside in the cold. We are back with Most Wanted Monday. Captain Tim Robinson, Wicomico County Sheriff's Office. Good to see you, sir. It's great to be back here again. Weather change makes the difference in trying to find people. Well, I wouldn't necessarily be trying to find people. We do see some crime trends that are definitely... Um, uh, factored in by the weather because yeah. when it starts um, when it starts getting cool the cool nights uh, we start seeing people staying in a lot more ah. and that creates a whole nother host of issues whole nother host all yeah. right well you have got a list for us today so I'll tell you what um, first off we want to say that you got two captures yes came up with Jonathan Israel Turner Brown mm -hmm. profiled him uh, back in September on the 19th as a matter of fact and Chad Thomas Fuller talked about him in August so you've got those two yep that's two we're not looking for anymore, so I've got a new list with six more individuals, and I'm hoping your viewers might know something. I always say there's somebody out there who's watching right now who knows something about these folks, whether they are, they know where they live, where they work, who they hang out with. We'll take any right. kind of information. All right, well, I'll tell you what, let's get started with and see uh, if you know the whereabouts of Deasia Denise Barber. Uh, Deasia Barber, she's 21 years old. We believe her to be right here in Salisbury still, and she's wanted by the sheriff's office on a district court arrest warrant that was issued last winter. The charges were issued um, when she um, failed to comply with her release conditions. So that has uh, created a couple bench warrants as well as this arrest warrant for escape in the second degree, which is requiring her to come back to the detention center. Uh, the original charges were assault second, reckless endangerment, and malicious destruction of property. All right, tell us about Tiffany Blair Cobble. Tiffany Cobble, she's 39 years old. We believe her to be in the Berlin area. She uses the name of uh, Tiffany McKinney or Tiffany Weimer. And she's wanted by the sheriff's office on a circuit court bench warrant that was also issued last winter after she failed to make an appearance to answer a violation of probation hearing where she already been convicted of CDS possession with the intent to distribute. Now, this is Terry Stephen Craig. Terry Craig, he is 54 years old. Uh, we know he has ties to Salisbury. We also know he has ties to the Baltimore area. He's wanted by the sheriff's office. We have a district court bench warrant that was issued when he did not make an appearance back in August to answer charges of theft and rogue and vagabond. And that is the charge that's levied when you're caught breaking into cars. All right, tell us about Jordan Jamar Kreiner. Jordan Kreiner, he's 35 years old, and we last know him to live in the Berlin area. And he's wanted by the sheriff's office on his circuit court bench warrant that was issued just back in September after he failed to appear for a violation of probation hearing in a case where he already been convicted of conspiracy to commit robbery. This is Daniel Elijah Jones. Daniel Jones, he's 42 years old, and we last know him to be in the Pittsville area. And he's wanted by the sheriff's office on a district court bench warrant that was issued after he did not make an appearance last month to answer the charges of assault second degree, theft, and robbery. All right, this is the last one on today's list. Justin Armand McMillan. Justin McMillan, he is 24 years old. We last know him to live in Snow Hill. He's wanted by the sheriff's office. We have a circuit court arrest warrant that was issued back in the spring for a multiple felony theft and forgery charges. So if you know where Mr. McMillan is, all you have to do is pick up the phone and call Crime Solvers. And again, I want to remind your viewers, even if they're not here in Wicomico County, even if not even in the state of Maryland, please call because many, incident, many um, times we can cross state lines or we can get our colleagues in other states to pick them up. So please, please call with whatever information you have. All right. So if you know those faces, time to get on the phone. So uh, Captain Tim Robinson, Wicomico County Sheriff's Office. Pleasure to talk to you, sir. We'll see if we can get some faces for you. It's great to be back here. All right.